mother was a simple housewife, but she was very supporting when I decided to study earth sciences. Uh, my mother was my first mentor. My father was a very uh, important figure in my life because he taught me how to be interesting in nature, in natural phenomena. Uh, my father was a factory worker. Uh, his skill was uh, uh, the oxygenation of cast iron in factory. Yes, yes. so my name is Nadia Malaspina and uh, I'm an associate professor in metamorphic petrology at the University of Milano Bicocca in Italy. I am a researcher, first of all, and also a teacher. My, my research um, is aimed to understand uh, how subduction zones work, if there is water, uh, the role of oxygen is very important. And when I did the experiments uh, uh, during my postdoc uh, in Milano, uh, then I realized that I was actually applying the same uh, technique that my father was applying in the factory in science. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my father when I was only 12 years old, but I think uh, it's incredible how uh, your parents can transfer something about their work or their passion and uh, when I decided to uh, study geology and earth sciences when I was at the high school uh, is mainly because uh, I love mountains. So I wanted to know how mountains were built. So all the processes that can uh, deform and transform rocks at depth and uh, how these processes can uh, bring these rocks back to the surface. And so we can study these rocks as natural laboratory. I have this great passion, uh, mountains and uh, particularly rock climbing. And uh, I mean, this uh, is a sport that uh, is more a lifestyle, more than a sport because uh, when you uh, get in touch with rock and you have to overcome your limits and you have, a, you have to reach the top, you know that you don't need big muscles, but you have to believe in, in what you can do. And the same thing is in science, I think, because, uh, I mean, you don't need to have a genius to have success in science. You just need to have a passion. Uh, to work hard, to study a lot, uh, and to be aware of uh, what are your uh, possibilities and uh, what are your uh, skills. This is what I like to uh, also to say to young girls when uh, sometimes they feel that they are not good enough to do STEM, mathematics, physics, and chemistry and earth sciences. Uh, and uh, this is not true, I mean, uh, but the important thing is that they have this awareness uh, to be able to do anything.